In this video, I'm going to give you a few tips for recognizing cognates. What are cognates? It's words that are similar to English. So you might cry when seeing some of these, but if you sound them out, they're cognates. Briefing, demandly, checkpoint, feedback. Try a few. How about this one? Fundraising. How about this one? Deadline. How about this one? This is a hard one. Vow effect. Vow is wow. Challenge. There are a few extra tips so they can help you identify cognates before you're even trying to sound them out. So for one thing, think about spheres in which cognates are likely to be used. So for example, technology. We all tend to use a lot of the same uh, words like computer. Um, business terminology, because it didn't really exist in the Soviet Union, it was taken from English. Um, sports. Um, things that involve other cultures or other countries. A lot of these are spheres in which cognates are likely to happen. Um, sometimes words are spelled how they're pronounced rather than how they're spelled in English. And then there are some specific letters and letter combinations that are mostly used in foreign words. So for example, the letters E and F. When you see them, it's most likely that that word is a cognate from another language. Also, combination yo is ikrakaya o for a y, for example. And there is no j sound in Russian, so how they make it is combination of d and z. z. So some letters don't exist in Russian, as we say, are quite different. W. It's usually spelled au or o or v, sometimes v. As we said, j is usually d, j, j. And h is sometimes g and sometimes h. Sometimes, but not always, double letters can tell you that it's a cognate. There are exceptions. And stress is often different in, in Russian words. So... Even though the stress is in one place in an English word, even though it's similar in Russian, the stress may be in a different place, which may make it sound different. Beware of false friends. Sometimes words look like an English word, and they might be have a different kind of name or a different kind of meaning. And no translation is perfect, so be sure to always translate ideas instead of words. And so let's take a look at a few here. Here we have a website can you tell what kind of sphere this website is from? Maybe this here can give you a hint, right? Or IT, Biomed, Technopark, show you that uh, a lot of this website has to do with technology. So if you know that, then you might know that there will be some cognates here. How about this word? Startup me. The ending is Russian, but the word here, star, startup, startup, right? How about this one? Can you tell uh, why this one might include cognates? If you look here, Britanets, that might give you a clue. It's a British person, right? A British guy. That might give you a clue that this might have something to do with stuff from another country, from English. So there's a bunch of cognates here. How about uh, this one? Knigu Rekordov Guinnessa. Right? It's the book of world records, the Guinness book of world records. And what did he get it for? You can take a look at the picture and it can give you a hint. Za paralelnuyu parkovku. It's, par it's parallel parking, and you can see here London. So that can give you a hint that there are cognates in this one. How about this one? Of course, you know who it's about, right? It's about an American, and it's about maybe sports. So that might tell you sports is another 
uh, sphere in which there are a lot of cognates because a lot of the terminology is shared between languages. Try this one. Knockout. And also, the picture gives you a hint. How about this one? Boxer. So here, these are a few tips in helping you identify cognates.